Good morning. You ready? Okay. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey, my name is Colonel Marty Downey. I'm the Commandant here at the Defense Information School. Um, I want to I kick this off just by saying thank you and welcoming each and every one of you who made time to come to the, the second annual uh, DINFO Social Media Workshop. Uh, this is, this is a, uh, a special treat to see the faces, to see the momentum, to see the addition of organizations since last year. Um, if you were here for last year, you'll, you'll remember us talking about the need, the need to get after the social media practices across the Department of Defense uh, and across the interagency as well. We had remarkable capacity out there. We had incredible innovation, creativity, things happening all over different parts of the Department of Defense. And we also had lots of places where not very much was happening uh, in social media. And recognizing the need to get after the training component. How are we preparing our men and women to engage in the social media sphere successfully so that their messages are getting through and that they're reaching the publics that they intend to reach? So what we did over this last year, and it's been a busy year, we at the Defense Information School have, have engaged in, a, in a, a series of, of lines of effort, if you will, to get after this training challenge. The number one uh, effort that we've engaged in is inside the Defense Information Schoolhouse, we have brought our instructors and, and some members of our faculty as well through social media training courses to ensure that they're aware of current best practices, not just how to execute them, but how to teach them as well. We had to get our, our base in order and we've done that. We've also dramatically increased, not just in the past year, but after, over the past three years or so, the content, the, the amount, the quality and quantity of social media content in our 33 courses, both here and online. And most of you already know the third leg is that we've added a social media manager's course online. That's the first time DOD has offered a social media manager's course online. We opened 500 seats. They're all filled. So congratulations to you guys uh, across the DOD for stepping up and stepping into the training that you know is necessary behind successfully engaging in the social media sphere. So um, I'm, I'm very proud of this past year and, and, and the forward movement that we've made. Now, that said, we still suffer from gross disparity between unit to unit in terms of the capacity and, and the competence of the individuals who are using social media right now. That training challenge has not gone away. We've started to get after it, but there's lots and lots of work to, to continue to do. And of course, the profession itself continues to move forward by leaps and bounds. So there's a constant need to get after it. So what we've done uh, to this social media workshop, based on your feedback from last year, is we've extended it a bit. Um, we've added another day. And we've added uh, breakout workshops so that uh, the areas of specialization that you're interested in, you'll be able to attend and personally participate into and add your, add your pieces. Second, we've, we, we were streaming last year, but we've, we've increased the amount of streaming that we've done. We know we have participants that are around the world. We have some that are going to be joining us in a few hours as the sun comes up around the world. And we're capturing all of our content, all of it online, where it will stay throughout the year so folks can continue to engage with it. And we'll be listening on social media. Now, the Defense Information School, as we go forward over this next year, is committing to additional input into the conversation about social media best practices across DOD. What you'll see in the coming months coming out of the Defense Information School and really coming out of our best practices and professionals around the world will be a, a venue where we're going to get better, better visibility on what products there are, what practices there are, um, and spread that conversation around the DOD and across the interagency. Not just during the workshop time frame, but during the course of the year. So I look forward to uh, the schoolhouse engaging in that practice. We're working to make our schoolhouse a productive place for that conversation, where it's fruitful for the interagency and leaders across DOD to come to the schoolhouse, have the conversation, and know that what they've talked about is being shared and being discussed by others across DOD so that they can all benefit from, from the forward motion there. So 
before I go any further, listen, I just want to take one second. I want to recognize a couple of individuals. You, behind the scenes, there's an awful lot of work that goes into pulling one of these things together. I, I just want to up front recognize two individuals. Um, I want to recognize Lieutenant Colonel Kene Faulkner. If you're here, are you here? Where, where are you, Colonel Faulkner? Okay, right, right there. Who's done tremendous work to pull this thing together. He started this thing off last year. He was uh, at, the, at the spearhead of pulling the course together. Uh, he's done tremendous work here. And I want to thank you, uh, Colonel Faulkner. And I also want to thank Texar and Sakura. Jamie, are you here? Jamie, right over there. Okay, those two individuals, amongst a host of others, but those two have really been at the absolute spearhead of pulling this thing together. So well done. Thank you. Uh, remarkable, remarkable work. So thanks for, thanks for all that you've, you've put into it. The social media sphere has been the, the wellspring, if you will, of a tremendous amount of innovation and creation for the Department of Defense. And there has been a consistent policy practice gap between what's actually happening on the ground and the policy that's managing, or, or uh, I put that in quotes, managing what's happening on the ground. We recognize that gap, and that's part of what this social media workshop is about, and that's part of what that conversation is about, is to, to begin to, to narrow the gap between what's happening and how we're managing that. You've seen examples of greatness and creativity, but you've also seen areas where we can run into challenges where that creativity and innovation can get us into, into some trouble. So we've got to balance the need for security, balance the need for professional communication against those innovative and creative ideas that keep our publics engaged. And so that's, that's a big part of what, what happens here in that workshop. What I'd like to do is, is transition a second and, and tell you that one of the key sources of innovation and creativity for social media, one of the organizations that has been a consistent leader in that is the defense media activity. And that's, that's our higher headquarters right across the street. Um, at the defense media activity over this past year, for those who don't know it, they've stood up a social media operations center there. That's the first time they've had anything like that. And in that social media operations center, they have a remarkable, powerful set of software and remarkable team of professionals that are managing and monitoring and engaging in social media conversations around the world in more powerful, more effective ways than I've ever seen so far. And I'm, I'm extremely excited about the potential that they have there, the potential to tap into the capabilities that, that, that we have both in, in industry and in academia, feeding into that, those best practices that are forward here at the Defense Media Activity. And none of that would be possible without some, some risk-taking, bold leadership. You gotta have leaders that are willing to step forward and constantly challenge themselves to say, are we doing what is currently the best practice? Are we executing and exemplifying the things that we're trying to encourage in the, in the people across the community? And the answer is yes at the defense media activity. And the leadership there, what I wanna highlight and introduce is Director Mr. Ray Shepard, who can tell you a little bit more about what they're doing over there and how they're taking that lead. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to be able to talk to you, and more importantly, thank you for being here. Um, as I look around, I think it's one of the interesting things in a walk in the room is, I'd like you all to just take a look around. A lot of empty chairs, right? Now, if we could take those same empty chairs and fill them in with all the people who are watching this virtually, part of the social thing we have now, all the room would be full. The room would be full. That's a significant thing to take into consideration because as you get into social media, you quickly understand that your, your sphere of getting things out is global. And there's always somebody interested in your conversation. You just gotta get them there, first of all. Now, uh, I gotta, I'm actually using my, my phone for a little notes here, but uh, let me just address one other thing. If you remember the old days in this business, some of you may not have been around during then, you were always in social media, but for those of us who were around for a while, whether you were a broadcaster, whether you were a print, whether you worked in radio, just the simple fact that you printed the newspaper and got it out in the street, the simple fact that you did the broadcast or that you did the radio show, that was declared success and you could go home with a smile on your face and said, I did a great job. 
In today's social media world, that does not work anymore. With the advent of social media, you now have to have a conversation and actually have feedback and know whether the message you sent out actually worked. And that's a traumatic change for us, and I think that's the reason why I'm happy to see this, this seminar and this workshop go on, because it's time for us to start talking about making sure that we can have a conversation. Now, the vital thing about that is that Department of Defense and other people who are involved with this, what does it matter what organization you are, really? You have to make sure that your message is actually received in the way you intended it to be delivered. That's something we never had to do before. So... If we look at the social media realm and the value of having some of these workshops is just that. How do we come together, begin to understand, to have a common language so that when we are out there uh, communicating our messages to our audience that we actually know what's being understood. And Marty, I think uh, thank you for your group to be able to put all this together because I think that's going to be a very valuable thing for us as we go, go forward. Um, uh, let me see. Good thing I have these now. I think I can do this thing. I... <laughs> Yeah, and I can't overemphasize one of the things, too. One is, uh, is, is my, as I always uh, say, we like to have one voice. And as a Department of Defense, we look at being able to make sure we communicate one message, and that is the message of the department. Now, as you look at this, and uh, as you all look around here, you have a variety of people, and more importantly, a variety of audiences that you are trying to achieve that, that message for. And it's delivered in different ways, as you'll talk about during the workshop, in different platforms but also the content and how it's delivered is going to be different. But the message that you ultimately want to deliver is going to be the same. So that's one of the challenges we have, and one of the, well, again, one of the values of having these workshops is how do we know, understand each other by being able to work together. I think even virtually you'll be getting input from folks coming down and having comments about this. How do we work together to be able to get a different platform, a different content, to deliver one message. And that's going to be the challenge we're all going to have. And I think that's what the value of the seminar. So let me conclude by saying this unity of effort that you're, you're putting together now, the second step in, in what we think are many, in all the different classes and things we've got planned, and more importantly, the conversation you all are going to have for the next couple of days are invaluable to the department and be able to get that one voice out to everyone. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Um, so being here at, at the Defense Information School, it is an honor to be able to focus on all of you all. What do you all really need for training? Uh, and as the director identified, this opportunity to bring you all in a room to talk about what we all identify are the best practices and what we should be pushing out is a unique thing that uh, I'm glad that you're all supporting. In the room right now, we have almost 70. Uh, online, virtually, uh, we have upwards of almost 140 people right now uh, participating virtually. Um, I, I just want to remind everybody in the room, uh, the Wi-Fi is open, and as well, uh, please uh, use the hashtags and, and, and the locations that we have uh, located both in your programs and on the wall. Um, yes, we, we started focusing on updating the training a little over well, almost two years ago now. Um, and at that point, we'd identified that, yes, uh, we were lacking. Uh, but again, everybody in this room was part of that conversation. And we put on last year's workshop. And this presentation is just to talk about what we've done in between that time and where we are now. So again, give me the next slide, please. So. Um, Go ahead, please. And so we started off with uh, what we had, whereas we had industry come in, and we had a discussion on what is available. And we came up with the concept of just getting everyone in the room to have the conversation on, on, on what are the best practices, what are the features and capabilities out there that, that would help the communicators. Uh, and then we focused on uh, the development for our, our social media virtual course. Give me the next one. And that took us a, a little bit of time, uh, just trying to figure out exactly what are the tasks that would be necessary for the commanders in the field. Uh, really, how do we help commanders and organization uh, strategically have the conversations that need to be had using social media? 
Let me get the next one, please. And then we had to conduct a beta test. This beta test was conducted with your help. Uh, the COCOMs all participated in that event um, where we had 33 testers all over the world uh, participate in, in our virtual course, uh, which actually went out and launched. Let me get the next bell, please. Um, we actually launched that earlier this year. The current iteration is still ongoing and we've got just over, just a short of two weeks uh, to go at the result of this week's uh, event. And then we also are now right here doing our current social media workshop. And what else we have for the remainder of the year are another two iterations where in total we'll be supporting approximately 500 students worldwide virtually with the course that we built as a result of last year's uh, workshop. And then we have to get into the plan of figuring out how do we build on that for FY18. Let me get the next slide, please. So for the, the, the virtual course, it delivers a conversation to all, not just those within the PA and VI field, because we understood as a result of talking to everyone here that those who are actually practicing social media in the field at the organizations are not necessarily individuals who graduated from our course. And so it starts with that basic conversation of a social media overview, a communications plan, and a review specific to us, DOD regulations, policies, and guidelines, policies and procedures, social media strategies and analytics, as well as writing specifically for social media. Also, there's a conversation, and we, we're hitting mood lighting now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but we can continue. Also, there's a piece on, on, on crisis communication uh, and as well uh, a wrap up with emerging social media trends and capabilities. Let me get the next one, please. So currently for our course cur curriculum, we have 32 courses in-house, in uh, some of which are maintenance courses and do not touch on social media at all. Uh, but we've identified for the 22 courses that we have, all are considerate of social media. And, and as a result of last year's workshop, uh, really we've increased the number of training hours that we actually apply to social media throughout our entire curriculum. Let me get the next slide, please. So last year, uh, whenever we conducted the workshop, we had this aggressive focus to bring this opportunity for experts from industry, academia, into one place, as I said, to talk about uh, what the community worldwide should be focused on. And as well, our focus for the workshop is that contents were made available virtually, and they're still out there that people are still accessing to be reviewed and standardized that we incorporated through our, throughout our curriculum. And as well, that was a lot of that was the basics for our virtual course. And so the most significant outcome from last year's workshop uh, really was our conversation that built that virtual course, as well as we drafted uh, the social media glossary for, for DOD-wide use. Uh, and if ever anybody wants to have access to that, please uh, go back and look at our link from last year's workshop and as well uh, contact us and we can uh, make sure that you have that. But each one of the respective services, social media SMEs uh, actually have access to it as well. So please contact your respective uh, services, social media, SME. But then this year we said, what is it that we need to build on, which is how do people communicate now, which is multiple devices. Uh, you have to be able to do everything from one individual. And so we want to make sure that we figure out for that two-way dynamic information environment how do we remain key stakeholders and influencers, uh, or correction, influence key stakeholders and influencers to talk about our story? And so today, and, and for the rest of the week, we have lectures on capabilities and considerations for the multi-platform communicator. We have breakout sessions to provide separate and focused discussion, as well as workshops to identify what exactly is needed as far as the next step in social media training. Let me get the next build. And for the week, we've got the services once again pitching in, and we have some of the presenters from last year 
Of note, uh, I'd want to point out that this, w this year we still we have LinkedIn providing updates as well as Smith Geiger um, and Twitter uh, will be presenting throughout the week. But also for academia, we've got presentations later on from Syracuse University. Uh, we've got Georgetown University. And then for our DOD, throughout DO, uh, correction to government, we have Department of Interior, State Department, <laughs> and as well, just keep building them all, please. Stop right there. And so this is just, just a few that I'm naming now for the remainder of the week, but as well who's also here in the room are, are different agencies that are, are not listed in, in your agenda. Uh, so I ask you that during the breakout session, please take advantage of that time to mill and network with each other. And those of you who are online, if there is a need to contact any of these agencies, please send those notes uh, and we will forward them to the respective uh, subject matter experts that are here that are representing all this on the agenda. Let me next, the next one. So at this point, um, we've just started uh, our presentation, and I honestly am hoping there are very few questions. Uh, it, it, we can uh, really get in some deep questions at the end of the presentation, but if there are any questions right up front, please let me know um, as we wait for some questions. Uh, let me talk about just a few things, just a few things. Um, for those who are physically in the building, uh, outside, next to each one of the latrines, there are diagrams that identify each one of the major exits that, that come in, in and out of here. Uh, I think most came through our front door, um, and there are side doors just right, to, uh, right outside the glass windows as you exit into the hallway here. But in the back of each one of the hallways, there are staircases, and along with each one of the staircases, there are exits. In the event of an emergency, if an event, uh, an alarm goes off for any reason, um, our rally point or the place that we all link up with in case of fire or any kind of emergency uh, from this end of the building is the back of the far parking lot. And I'd ask it everybody just expeditiously just go that way. I understand that you might have stuffs, but we ask everybody to leave out uh, immediately to the back. Again, uh, the Wi-Fi is open. Please use that to be a part of the conversation that's being had right now uh, virtually on, on, on what we're presenting today. Uh, at this point, we will break. Yes. I always thought I spoke loudly enough to not need this. <laughs> uh, I'm Mary O'Shea. I'm the provost here at the Defense Information School. M one of the key responsibilities of my office is to partner in outreach, especially with other uh, federal agencies. I'd also like to introduce you to my director of outreach, Ms. Rennie Thornton, who is, if you'll just give away, Ms. Thornton. Um, the reason why I'm introducing myself is because I know that there are a lot of other agencies represented in the room. and. There's a lot of faces I don't recognize, and I would like to make contact with you, either myself personally or Ms. Thornton. Uh, so I would ask in any of the breakout sessions throughout the week, um, come find me. I'll, I'll certainly be trying to make as many contacts as I can, exchange information, because uh, there's, a, there's a lot that DIMFOS, there's a lot of good happening out there across the federal government. And we want to make sure that we're having the conversations with the people who are making those good things happen and bringing those into our schoolhouse for our students to learn from. Okay. Um, being the first day, we've just got to stop and reset. Uh, our first presenter today is uh, Mr. Kelly. Uh, we talked about um, having, um, talking about having the Social Media Operations Center uh, presentation from DMA. Uh, and so we'll break, and everyone will be back in for that first session starting at 9.15. Uh, thank you very much.